Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show. What's going on? Let me know in the comments, we'll talk about it. And speaking of the comments, I had a comment yesterday we talked about that I wanted to revisit today. That's what we talked about. That we we're gonna talk about pH. Let me, let me show you what we got going here. It's from Roast Beef and he says, Bob, come on, you really should be pHing. And this is in reference to a couple days ago when we were doing the comprehensive feeding chart. We were doing the, uh, well, let me show you here. The, the seed and clone stage where there's uh, one teaspoon of Medusa's Magic, one teaspoon of Gaia Mania, and one teaspoon of Zeus Juice. And my thinking was that with just that little bit, literally a drop in the bucket compared to all the water that's there, it's not going to significantly change the pH of the mixture. And so it's probably not an issue because I'm pretty familiar with my water here and I know that it's pretty neutral. But if you had some water that was a real high in pH or real low, I'm talking like in the eights or in the fives, you could have a serious problem. And you're gonna have a problem later on because even if you uh, get that water adjusted in your mixtures where you're doing all feedings, you're gonna have some problems where you might wanna, if it's way, I guess what I'm saying is if it's way out there on the edges, that you're gonna wanna adjust that before you do your mixture. So what I did is I tested my water. Let me show you what, what you do, it's pretty straightforward. You just get some of your water with nothing in there. And uh, what I like to do, you can use your pH meter, but the pH meter uh, measures electrical conductivity. And when there's nothing in the water, a lot of times with pure, uh, clean water, it seems like the readings can be a little um, jumpy because the little electrode in there has nothing to grab onto. So what I usually do is I'll use some uh, pH tape. And let's get some right here. It's a pH strip, I guess you'd call it. And let's take one of these and kind of shake it around in there. Let it get its uh, get its bearings in there. Anything like that. And you just take this little chart here you measure it up against there. I'm thinking it's... Uh, it's probably 6.0, 6.2, it looks more like 6.2. Right where we wanna be. Um, and I should also say, if you have to use the pH meter and you're getting uh, measurements that appear like they might be out of whack, what you can do is take a little Medusa's or Gaia, just about anything, and pour just a tiny bit in there to give those uh, the electrode in there something to something to grab onto to work with so it gets you a little better reading. But for my, uh, for my money, I like to just use the tape in this particular measure. Uh, strips, I guess you'd call it. Okay, so we know we need to have our water at a neutral pH there, and if it's real high or real low, we've got a problem. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna take the soil there, and it's gonna slowly drift the soil up or down to where we can't get any uh, mineral uptake into our plant. Nothing going up into the plant. So we need to have it right. But if it's not right, what are you gonna do? Well, if it's too low, pretty straightforward, you're gonna use some uh, Olympus up. And if it's really, really low, you're probably gonna wanna use it before you do any of your other adjustments. If you're just doing it with the cool, clear water, you know, just doing that, you put some of that in there to get that going. But if you're doing your, your mix, most times you do the Olympus up at the end. But if it's way off, you probably want to do it a little before. Another thing, if it's going uh, too high and you got to go down, you could use some of this, the um, Hades down. You could use some of that. But uh, interestingly, Scott, Scott Ostrander from Nectar for the Gods was telling me that he might use some uh, of this. So Herculean Harvest. And that's the thing I wanted to show you. I got a little chunk of the video that we did with him talking about pH at length. Let me show you that right now and I'll talk to you after. There if you it's go. super high, what are you going to do? Or are Just react it with pH down. Or, every time before you I mean, do. when it's super high like that, you've got a lot of carbonate in there. The carbonate in there isn't necessarily a calcium source that the plant is readily taking from the soil. Mm -hmm. So I would actually hit it with Herculean to drop the pH because it's going to react to the base. It's going to drop it down with a reaction. Right. And then you've got the calcium from the soluble form of bone meal that the plants can consume when they're drinking the water. So there you go. I hope you found that interesting. If you want to dig deeper into this, you could watch that whole video. That whole video is all about pH. I'll put a link in the description. And I think that's about it for today. Tomorrow we're going to talk about uh, how often to feed. A lot of people ask about that. We're going to do that. And the day after, we're going on a field trip. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you'll tune in. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. And if you buy anything while you're there, use the code FAMHARVEST. It's going to save you 20%, and it's a lot of fun. The OCG Fam Show was pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.